And so the question is how to tap into, how to unlock, how to open up that doorway, that gateway into overflowing abundance in every way. I'll tap on a few ways. And one that I want to specifically address today is the idea of being generous, of being giving as a very powerful way, very immediate, because it tends to transcend your own stories very quickly, very immediately. It shows you your sore spots. And by sore spots in this sense, I, I mean beliefs in lack, which is the only soft spot that human being has to sore spot. It's the only negative idea that humanity has. Every other idea is just sort of neutral or positive, can be used in whatever way. But the idea that lack exists is the only idea existence doesn't know what to do with. So when we believe, and again, beliefs create our reality, whether it is spiritually, our experience of it at least, our experience of our spirituality, our experience of our mental clarity, our mental precision, our mental state of being energized or being depressed, either way, our emotional state, being clear emotionally, just using the emotional body as a guidance mechanism rather than a distraught personality structure that we derive our sense of identity from. Physical abundance, just an overall flow to your everyday life, a flow of your physicality, a flow to your body, a flow to your circumstances. All that is influenced by how much you believe lack exists. And again, lack just as abundance can apply to anything. Fear of death is a lack of existence, or so we presume. Fear of love, the idea of loneliness, perhaps, or isolation, or fear of being abandoned, is the belief in lack of companionship, lack of friendship, lack of support. I don't want to follow my dreams because they're not able to support me. Believe that you suggest that you believe that lack exists in terms of the universe will not support you, your higher self will not support you in doing what you love to do in being who you love to be, in expressing yourself in the way you love to express yourself. Okay, so when you give yourself to life, when you give yourself, when you extend yourself to others, when you are being generous, in whatever way, in whatever form, when you are in the attitude of, I'm ready to be of service, how may I be of service to you? How may I be of service to you? How may I be of service to you? How may I be of service to this moment? Whether it is for seemingly your own life or other people's lives. But when you are in that attitude of service, which is also the attitude of appreciation or the attitude of gratitude. It's a similar frequency field. You will naturally push the boundaries of your consciousness to the very edge of where you believe lack exists. So you will show to yourself in what ways you believe lack exists. Because if I have just one penny and I give it to someone else, then my belief gets very obviously triggered that I will lack the penny because I gave it away, right? That's just a very simple example. But in other ways, for example, I have a lack of time. Therefore, I cannot be here for you now. I cannot listen to this because I have a lack of time. So being generous with your time will show you that you believe there is a lack of time. There is a lack of freedom to do what you want to do. There's a lack of freedom to do what you need to do, etc. When you give love to someone, you believe you may at some point lack reciprocation of that love as if love could be lacking when you give it. Another example. There's many examples. So as your attitude becomes very generous, as you give of yourself to life, and of yourself can be anything. Again, can be financially. You can give somebody money that needs it. You can put them up in your place if they need a place to stay. You can feed them. You can clothe them. You can support their business. You can invest in their business. You can just donate to their business, to their startup, to whatever it is they're doing. You can love others. It's possible. You can unconditionally love others. It's possible too. You got to try it though, to get in touch with that. But when you give others love or care or attention or money or housing or shelter or companionship or a business model or your expertise or just your attention, whatever it is, when you are in that attitude of giving, that attitude of generosity, what happens is you actually unlock, you actually open up a gate that's sort of in a sense behind you, like a doorway. You're always looking in front of you. You're not really seeing what's behind you. This is metaphorically speaking. But when you give, there has to, something has to open up that valve, which is behind you, which plugs you into all that is, which plugs you into the potential 
infinite abundance that you are always connected to, whether you block it out or not. And so when you give, that has to open up more. It has to. Imagine this sort of like a bathtub, but then very long, like a, like a channel of water, filled with water, just this long rectangular channel with water, or even a pipeline. Now, if you put your hand in that channel and you move a lot of the water to the left, will there remain emptiness here, a lack of water? Or will water start flowing in immediately? As soon as you move water to the left, there's new water already replacing the old water. And so the more you get in the habit of giving, of sharing, of being generous with yourself completely, you will open up that fountain. Whereas if you say, nope, mine, this is min, this is my piece. This is my money. This is my love. This is my time. This is my caring. This is my space. This is my object. This is my present. This is my gift, etc. If that's the attitude, that valve will not open up. In fact, your portion of the water will turn into a dirty, stinky little pond. It doesn't feel good at some point. It becomes polluted. It becomes dirty. All these creatures start thriving in it, these sort of nasty creatures. So that's what you're doing with your energy. It's very much like water. It's even more immediate. The moment you give, it's already replaced. There's not even the half a second that it takes water to flow to that location. In space slash energy, as soon as something is moved, there is not even a single second of a gap. There is just a constant stream. So the more you give, you see, the more you actually unlock this stream of infinite abundance, which is the natural way of the universe. It seems like all our lives are so difficult. It seems like there's so much lacking on planet Earth because we have stopped giving, because we've stopped being generous with our energy, because we believe that if we give something away, it is a way we lack it. And so I encourage you to discover in your everyday life that that's not the case. It's not true at all. As soon as you give, you get. As soon as you give, you get. As soon as you give, you get. Plus, you get the joy of giving. So it's a double whammy. You give, you get new, fresh energy, which is usually bigger and more expansive because the universe starts to register that you are a channel of love light, that you are a channel of abundance, that you are a channel of generosity, that you desire to take care of more of creation than just your own portion. And as soon as existence starts noticing in your frequency pattern in your field that you are a generous being that wishes to host people, that wishes to give to other portions of its creation, that wishes to share, that does not believe it will lack anything. As soon as you start activating that flow of being generous, that flow of generosity, and again, this is in every way, in any way, not just the obvious physical ways, in any way you can be generous. Sending someone love and light, taking that minute to just see them based in love and light and abundance is generous, generosity, right? So it can come in any way. But when you activate that flow, you will be, in a sense, popping out on the hot list of existence, seeing all creatures. And it's like, oh, hey, wait a second. Here is a usable channel to serve many more portions of creation through simply one being. Rather than all of them one by one, I can simply give a little more to this creature and then this creature will work on my behalf to share this love, light, abundance flow with the rest of creation. In other words, I've gained a new conscious co-creator that is in the image of me, all that is existence itself, giving and sharing and wanting to do so out of the intention of sharing love, light, of becoming more of love, light, him or herself, and sharing that with the rest of him or herself in the form of other creatures, which is simply just the same one being. And in addition, everything that you put out is what you get back as well. Everything reverberates all the time. So whatever your state of being exudes is what you'll receive. A, as your interpretation of that experience immediately, and B, quote unquote, seemingly in physical reality, later on in terms of a response from the universe that manifests itself in some kind of abundant, graceful way because you've been graceful. Does that make sense? Does it resonate? To be a little more giving, to step a little bit more out of your comfort zone, to open up your home, in a sense, what you've considered your home. And there's a balance to this. But before you learn to balance, you first have to learn to open your doors. And the balance being the balance of love and wisdom. And at some point, it may actually be the wisest thing to do to close your doors. But before you can even consider saying that, you first need to really get a good sense of what it's like to love and to give and to be generous. I'm not saying that you don't. Many of you already have a, a good sense of that. But now in a more abundant sense, where you actually realize, 
hey, I'm not giving this away because I should. I'm not giving this away because my mommy or daddy would condone it, would say, oh, that's a good boy, you're a good boy for giving that to someone else. And in the meantime, you feel really shitty about it because you still believe it's lacking. Now, the abundant way to be a giver, to be generous, is to also investigate your lack beliefs and to dispel these, to say, I'm going to give and I know, I trust, I have faith that as I give immediately, I'll be replenished somehow in some way. Therefore, I want to give. I want to be a flow. I want to be a conduit. I don't just want to give because it's the right thing to do, but I'll be lacking when I do it. Does that make sense?